What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to cage your brakes when your brakes are locked up. Sometimes you'll be driving down the road and all of a sudden you just see a lot of smoke behind you and you realize that something is wrong with your trailer. You come back, you see like skid marks on the highway. But luckily you're watching this video and I'm gonna show you how to temporarily free up your brakes so you can get down the road and bring it into a shop whenever you have time to do so. So I've been trucking for a very long time and twice I had this happen to me. My brake chamber locked up. I was on the 495 heading west towards Long Island and my brakes locked up. I looked back, I saw smoke and I felt like a slight drag when that happened. So I pulled over and sure enough, my brake chamber gave out. So I had to jump in my toolbox, get my wrench, check out my caging bolt, and just cage that brake chamber and went down to my delivery, delivered it, and then I brought it into a shop and get it fixed. Um, next time I was in a yard and I picked up a trailer and, you know, I did my pre trip inspection and I started, you know, getting ready to pull out and realize I can't move. My trailer brakes are locked up, so I had to cage that as well. All right, so let me show you guys how to cage this brake. Okay, so this is one of my brake chamber here. Um, and over here at the side is the caging bolt. And most of these brake chamber, they will have a caging bolt here. If you buy a new brake chamber, you should get one with it. Um, but after a while, when you put them on your truck, sometimes, um, <laughs> for some reason, um, they're not always there. Um, some people will steal them off and some people will lose them. Um, so let me, um, let me take off this Cajun bolt right here. And that bolt right there is a, um, is a three, I think it's a, um, I think it's a, a quarter millimeter. Matter of fact, let me stop guessing and check. Um, okay, yeah, it's a three fourths, right? It's a three fourths socket to get that bolt off. Uh, so most of you guys won't have um, a power tool with you on the truck, and maybe you do. Uh, who am I to judge? But um, I have my power tool, so I'm going to use my power tool to get off that bolt. I will use the wrench because most of you guys will be probably using it, use a wrench, but there's a wrench. I'm not going to use this wrench. I'm going to use my power tool because this is what I bring my power tool for on the road, to use it. So if you have a power tool, go ahead and use it. If you don't, then use the wrench and get it off, all right? All right, so. Oops. All right. One, two, three. Ugh. Now, let me tell you guys something about this power tool right here. You see this power tool right here? Oh my goodness. I love this freaking power tool. This one is awesome. Trust me. I use this actually to take off a lug nut from a tractor trailer wheel. Okay? This is powerful. Anyway, back to this right here. This is the Cajun bolt down there, right? You have the bolt, you have the washer, and you have the nut, okay? So what you wanna do, you wanna unplug this, this brake chamber hole right there. And if you look down there, you see that, that little key slot down there, that shape in a, in a T? This is where this go. That's where this Cajun bolt goes. As you can see, the, the head of this bolt is shaped into a T. So we go right into that slot there. When you put it in the slot like so, you want to turn it like this, and then you tug on it. When you tug on it, it should not come out. Okay? So once you tug on it and it, it's locked in, you feel like it's not going out, then you want to put on your washer, and then you want to put on the bolt and start, and start, it to, and start tightening it down. As you tighten this bolt down, as you reach down here to the end of it, you're going to start 
feeling some resistance. Just keep on tightening it down until your brake shoe start to separate from the brake jump. When when you when you see that it separate from the brake jump, then you can stop. You just have to separate it from maybe like I would say um maybe um one eighth or one one sixteen, you know. You don't gotta go too far. You could just separate it a little bit. Um all right, so okay so let's get this in here again that's how it looks in there as you can see it's rusted in there because of course moisture get in there even though this have a plug on there trust me guys moisture and water still find a way to get in these things all right so let's put this in here trying to feel for that hole okay it's a little bit like this way okay there you go all right so that's it I'm tugging on it and it's not coming out so I'm in the right position so then I'm gonna put on the washer like so then I'm gonna put on this nut right here and try and hold that um hold that bolt in place so it doesn't come out on, on you because it it can come out sometimes as you started to turn if it wasn't locked in properly. Alright, so we made contact with the brake brake chamber base right here. So now I can use this and go down on it, but I'm not going to use this to go down on it because I want to use this so I can have total control. So all you got to do guys is keep on tightening it down until your brake starts to separate. What you will do now you will just hop in your truck and just drive on to where you got to go. If you got to get to the shop, you can now move your truck and get down to the road. Or, you know, if you have to go make a delivery or a pickup, you know, you just do what you got to do and keep it moving. But get it fixed as soon as possible because you don't want to get pulled over and, you know, <laughs> you get inspected and inspected be like, oh, uh-uh, can't do this, boy. I'm going to have to put you out of service. Anyway, it all depends on who you get. Sometimes they'll cut you loose if you explain to them the situation or whatnot. Anyway, guys, if you, if you, if you, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Let's grow this channel so it can help our other truck drivers out there. Anyway, I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.